hello welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is doing well all right so we are going to go ahead and get started on soul transformation sunday episode 58 okay uh today is sunday december 24th christmas eve it is currently 8 57 a.m okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started on this message um, I hope everybody's been doing well. If you're watching from Patreon, good morning, gang. I hope everybody's been doing well. We're going to go ahead and get started on this message, okay? If you're new here, Soul Transformation Sunday is a you message. It's a message for self, okay? It lets you know what's going on in the week ahead, but it also lets you know what you need to focus on, okay? It not only gets you in alignment, it keeps you in alignment, okay? So... It's just a, a gradual step program week to week, okay? So take it how it resonates. You should fall right into where you go in the message, okay? Um, the extended message will close on Patreon, okay? That's what Soul Transformation Sunday was birthed, okay? Um, so we close it over there. We close it over here with no clarifiers, but if you feel compelled to go on the other side uh to go a little bit deeper definitely click the link below okay so we're gonna go ahead and get into it capricorn happy birthday mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah oh yeah mm -hmm. happy birthday capricorn all right let's go ahead and get into it Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, those from the highest white light who walk with me every day and assist me in any way. Please assist me in bringing forth the message for the collective for the week ahead. Soul Transformation Sunday, episode 58. I do want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Okay, as we get ready to close this year up and with Christmas being tomorrow. Um, I just want to let you all know, thank you that I am appreciative. Okay. And I pray that you have the most incredible, the most incredible, uh, rest of the year. Okay. May every miracle manifest in your world that you've been asking for. Okay. Um, you have my blessing on it. Okay. Now it's all according to God's measure. But you have my blessing on it. Thank you so much to those of you have, who have given to me in any way. Even if it was one thumbs up. Okay. I am so appreciative. Thank you so much. Your kind words. Your generous donations. Thank y'all so much. Okay. Y'all the ones that keep me coming back. Okay. You make it easier for me to be on this journey. And I, I appreciate y'all for being on it with me and allowing me to be on yours with you okay all right let's go ahead and get into it what do we have for the week ahead soul transformation sunday episode 58 thank you confidence is your key to to success new moon in leo okay a time to give rather than take all right, new moon in Virgo. Okay, I love it. Okay, somebody, some of you could have Leo Virgo major placements. Okay, you just take this message how it resonates. Look at the sun. Yeah. So maybe it's something that you maybe maybe that you need to give collective, uh, but maybe you're feeling a little insecure about it. Yeah. A time to give rather than take confidence is your key to success. Yeah, so you're going to have to, you know, get, find you some courage, you know. Or somebody could just be building up some kind of courage to give you something. Maybe you're the receiver. Okay? But take it how it resonates. Communication is key behind that new moon and Gemini. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So somebody's feeling a little intimidated, a little insecure. Or a lot. Take it how it resonates. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What's going on? Spirit. For the week ahead, Soul Transformation Sunday, episode 58. What's going on? Mm 
what's going on archangel michael please protect me as i channel the messages for the collective block any interference that stops their messages from coming through the lovers okay yeah some of you have been praying for a connection or you just been praying for something to come together for you some form of stability you want something to stick for some of you yeah now something could have something to do with someone breadcrumbing you okay you got the six of cups here so some, somebody could be reminiscing okay or this could be you thinking on the past thinking about someone from the past okay you got the empress here something can do with your mother okay some of you could be thinking of your mother um, or whoever this this childbearing, this experienced uh, feminine is. OK, they could be older in age. They don't have to. They're just well experienced. OK. Let's see. What else do we have? You got the magician. With the king of pentacles. Hmm. So something could have something to do with uh, someone could have been, let's just say, I feel like something definitely deals with compromising, equal give and take, reciprocity here. And I feel like someone here could have burdened you in some way and maybe even had the means to restore something for you. And they haven't. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, I feel like somebody that something has something to do with somebody making something right. So I don't know if that's what you're doing or some of you may be receiving something. Something happened in the past where there was some kind of unfair treatment or something was one sided or it doesn't matter what it is. It just could be, say, you know. With the empress being out here, if you do have someone that you share children with, you're you're like footing the bill, the like over fifty percent. But the person you may share children with may have more expenses, like they have more money than you. Okay, you have more expenses, expenses, or cover more expenses, expenses for the children, but they. Either pocket more, make more, spend less. It's, it's not balanced. Yeah. This is going to also be something as far as somebody going so far as to... With the magician here, somebody manipulating how much they have. Like on paper versus how much they really have. You see what I'm saying? So it'd be like not only saying, oh, I don't have it. But they have it. But... Is going the extra mile to say I don't have it so that you don't have to give what you're supposed to be given. It's something like that. Or that's what happened in the past. Something happened here where there was some kind of manipulation so that a person wouldn't have to see about their duty completely. Look at that. You got the hermit. You got the sun. Okay, so somebody could have definitely ghosted. Uh, you got the knight of pentacles. You ghosted this person. They ghosted you. Something deals with a childbirth here. Mm. Some of you is that's a little harsh right out the gate, but something's been a long time coming. Mm-hmm. Something's been a long time coming. So Y'all have been manifesting something. For some of you, it could have been manifesting pregnancy, okay? You want to get pregnant. You've been trying, okay? And it looks like something is happening here. I feel like it's a matter of you believing that something could happen. I feel like there's like a level of... Uh, someone could be a bit negative, a pessimist. So out the, it's like maybe something has happened over and over again and you're just so sure that, oh, it's going to happen again. I just know it versus saying, you know what? 
the last time was the last time and it's not happening again to me you know it's something like that all right so you got the eight of cups here yeah so something's final here whatever this is somebody's leaving some of you could be leaving a um a connection for some of you you're leaving something behind okay maybe it's just hard for you to let something go some kind of emotion that you may be feeling but some of somebody's leaving something behind some kind of emotion um uh, behind okay Now, this could be somebody leaving, like somebody actually leaving. And this could be someone who could care less about your emotions. When that time they manipulated you and burdened you. They could care, they could care less about your how they made you feel, how it made you feel. This can be them. That it, it, their mom can be involved in some kind of way and manipulating whatever this situation is, okay? Yeah. I just heard insult to injury okay yeah like it's it's like somebody making something that's already a bad situation worse how i don't know we'll see but yeah this could be an older sister it doesn't matter whoever this is but somebody put in a little bit too much of their two cents and something that didn't have anything to do with them and it's because they have history with the person they have memories with the person so i don't know if this is a person like you could be reminiscing on whatever this situation is, this past connection. Okay? This person that you left or they left you, you know they were manipulated for some of you. For some people, that's what's just that's what light is being shed on, okay? Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. This is somebody being in somebody's business. Oh yeah. This says clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Yeah, so somebody just has like a negative energy around them. Whoever this person is has a negative energy around them. Now, whether it passes off or not, this is the type of energy where it's a, they're s -s 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 right up underneath you, right? But they'll be the main energy that's pointing fingers at other people, but they're the one hissing right up underneath you. This is that type of energy. Very, yeah, it's that type of energy. They tell you who to hate. They tell you who to dislike. They tell you who to like. They tell you who to be with. They tell it's like if it don't look like them or sound like them, if it don't sound like them, then they don't want you to be with the person. Because they need somebody where it could prolong them manipulating a situation with you. Okay? This is somebody where somebody's manipulating you. Okay? Um, it, it could be a part of somebody that's, it's definitely part of somebody's history, somebody's upbringing or something. But if you have too woke up an energy around you, this is a person that don't want you to be with that energy. No, I need somebody I can put this blame on when other things fall apart in your life. Is that energy. Somebody has been manipulating somebody, delaying somebody because somebody, somebody doesn't want to either be left behind, whether it's a mom. The mother of your children, an older sister, an older brother. I don't care who this is, but this is the Empress. So this could be a mother of some sort or older feminine energy. Somebody could just have a lot aesthetically. They have a lot. They have a lot. But they like to keep people right up underneath them where they, where they want them. Now, this could be an energy that they want to manipulate the situation and make it feel like you need them. You see what I'm saying? Or that could have been somebody's handicap. Somebody feels codependent upon this energy. That's why I say it's clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So why don't you make everybody go home? Get out. I'm getting Martin. Get out. Everybody out. Get out. But this would be the type of energy where everybody get told to get out except for this one energy. You see what I'm saying? It's something about that one energy that is the reason why somebody's life has been delayed. Somebody doesn't, they don't feel very happy. They feel like, why am I not getting anything that I deserve? Why do I lack so much confidence? Because this is a this is an energy where whenever you think back on this certain individual, 
who had the somebody in y'all's business. This is an energy that was very insecure in your relationship the way you remember it. Okay? This is, they could do foul play all day. You could be completely innocent doing nothing. But by the time this person gets back into your energy field, after this person has been overstepping their boundary, maybe gossiping, doing whatever they do, just throwing a little salt on it from the sidelines, because they need whatever this is that looks healthy, this lover's connection to fall apart. They need that to go ahead and either not come together or just completely fall apart. So they're going to throw these two cent in, okay? But this person was insecure with you or they felt like they had to have their guard up. In my, in my mind, I keep seeing the nine of wands, okay? So it's the energy that's looking at you like, I don't know, ever since you come into my life, no. That's the person projecting onto the relationship, onto onto the connection. Somebody's predict. Somebody would throw throw a stone, and then they'll hide their hand like it wasn't me. Oh my goodness! It ain't, it's been different since they've been around, hasn't it? It's something about this energy. But if you with somebody, if, if you with a more negative person, it's easier to believe. But it looks like somebody may be getting. It's a purpose behind this message. Why we're giving it passion. Try something you've never done before. So some, this could be somebody who someone was having a sexual connection with. Or had a sexual connection with. Maybe this connection with you guys was a very passionate connection as well. Like it was just giving. It was just a giving. It was, it was great. But it looks like somebody had to go in the scenario. Okay. Yeah, so this could be anybody. This could be, like I said, it's going to be a baby mother throwing salt from the sidelines. Oh, we friends. It's, you know, you will know the difference because it'll be mutual. It'll be mutual, but it'll be something where somebody here, I'm not saying every baby mother, baby father connection that where the two are no longer together, don't have a great co-parenting relationship. But these are people, these are be this is somebody here where secretly somebody wants the father of their child or mother of their child to stay and remain single. Yes. And they whether you have a failed relationship after failed relationship before you get with someone where there's longevity there. For whatever reason, it looks like it's to cover up their manipulative ways or something. Or to make them look a certain kind of way. Or make them look like your hero. Or something like that. It's really sick. It's sick. Is what it is. The devil. Yeah. It's sick. They're sick. I mean obviously. Okay. But yeah. This is somebody who's very obsessive. They can't let go. They can't. Somebody here is an empty vessel too. Whoever somebody grew up with. Ain't nothing in there but demons. They full of demons, whoever this is. Ugh. Yeah, but somebody has like real, real nasty intent. Look at this. Not King of Swords, Nine of Wands. They can't stand you, whoever this is. They get other people who can't stand you to help work with them and work against you. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, yeah. Nine of Swords and try to stress you out, have you worried or something like that in your feelings and your emotions. Yeah, that's all this is. It's because you guiding and leading people and you showing people towards the light. Or that's what it is that you do for some of you. That's why. You know it's always a demon behind you. You just ready. If you if you know, you know. You, if you know, you know. You attract demons. They come right to that light. That's what it is. They like it. They want to come closer. And that's what you be needing them to do anyway. But yeah, that's what this is. This is somebody who they're unfamiliar with the, a certain demon. Or they, they were so deep in that dark. This is. Get, I need an example. Okay. <sighs> Say. Let's just. Okay. I got this. I got to do it. Okay. But say you're. You're connecting with someone. Okay. They're, this is them in their in they got devil energy all around them devil energy all around them 
all up and through their house, all up and through their life, all in their boundaries. They don't see nothing. They just, they dark. Maybe they said a prayer or something. And the Lord was like, all right, boom, I got you one. I'm going to go ahead and put, see one of my people over there. Boom, 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 boom. Here you come. Shining bright. Okay. The closer you get to the in, this energy or y'all, you come into connection with this energy because they're innocent to a certain extent because they're sleep. Okay. They're sleep. They're innocent to a certain extent. They don't really know what they, what you about to help them uncover about somebody that's close to them. Anyway. The closer you get to this energy, they start the light. Whatever the demon is that's around them or the devil energy that's around them that consumes them, that wants to feel needed. They want to feel like they're the only important person in someone's life. They're the only loyal person in somebody's life. Don't let anyone in. Basically, don't let any light in. Don't let anything in. So you over here, you sitting beside this person now. Now things are starting to come back to them like their memories. They starting to tell you about their past. And if you really got the gift, you could you could tell somebody everything that happened in their past by the information that you, or what did happen by the information that you get. Somebody here is highly intuitive, psychic even. Gifted. Very gifted. Somebody could easily spot out who the snake is. Who the snake is. This somebody that they got to get you gone. Because we don't need nobody knowing who the snake is. We don't need nobody to know where the smoke really be, been coming from. We don't need people who we've been saying we helping to know we really been working against them. That could be anybody in your life for some of y'all. But yeah, that's what it is. Somebody's like, no, nah, we need to kick them out. We need to get them over here. Cause so it could be back dark again. So it could be back dark again. It's something like that. And somebody may have like had a temporary victory here. It may have lasted all of so many months or years. Just depends on the level of how you were with this in this connection. Where you were, how you were in this connection. But these are people who their intention is to beat up on you, bully you, maybe make you feel intimidated, maybe make you feel some kind of way. But somebody here is confident in who they are, what they are, what they do, what they give off. I mean, it is what it is. OK, so I feel like you got because if, if, if I mean, I haven't I mean, these are people working together. To try to, I don't know, somebody may have come into, come into your personal space. Even travel just to get closer to you. Or contacting people at just too close to you. It's something about it that makes it to where they could have been saved had they just not come so close to the light. It's that type of energy here. But yeah, somebody didn't want you with somebody. Because it's, it would immediately call them out. I don't even think the problem was you per se. It was just their agenda. They needed not to be. No, don't shine no light over here. They needed they, their agenda to not come out. They needed somebody to stay asleep, sleep, stay in the dark. Because they knew that when that person woke up, they would be looking at them like it was you, huh? It was you. It was you the whole time. It was you the whole time. Mm -hmm. But somebody is definitely very wise here. Somebody has like a somebody is like a mastermind. Okay, they have a, a very gifted mind. Their mind is the most beautiful thing about them. It could be the most hated thing about them too. But. Yeah, it is what it is. Look at this. Five of swords. So very hateful, malicious energy working against you in the past is what it looks like here. Light is being shed on these people. That's what it is. They're being called out. Look at that. The high priestess. Oh, yeah. Somebody could have somebody's baby mother, sister, mama. Somebody is a witch. 
Could be your baby daddy for some of you. Take it how it resonates. They're a warlock. Okay? They practice witchcraft. Okay? They do. They do. They they practice some kind of... They, they either hire the people to do it for them. Or they, they, they did somehow stir the pot. Ener energetically. Okay? Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. There's the magician. There's the high priestess. There's the five of swords. There's the devil. There's the hermit, spirits. So somebody here for some people, boom, you constantly getting love spells done on you. Constantly. For some of you, it's somebody that's just very hateful. They attack everybody that you've ever been with. This could be your mama. Could be your mama, okay? For some of you, it's just somebody trying to delay you. They want to hate on you so bad. So they do stuff, they do stuff, uh, hateful, malicious acts towards you just so you don't get what you deserve or, or something like that to slow you up or something like that. Okay. But yeah, that's what this is. This is, this is somebody who's extra attached to your energy. They want to remain there. They want to lay there. They want to live there. They do. They want a space in your life so bad beyond being the person that you share children with or the relative that you were born and, and raised with. Or, you know, they want to be so much more to you than your parent should be. Lady or sir, they grown. They grown. And that's, that's, and this is the type of energy, like maybe somebody don't have it all the way there. You know, they don't have it all the way, all the way. Maybe they could be very intelligent, but their parent don't want them to be. Or whoever this person is that helps guide them and lead them and show them the way they don't want them to be. They've held them back all throughout life with manipulation. Trust no one but me. This giving me this giving me that Taurus reading that I did for y'all. Uh, it is it's, it's, if, if you haven't watched it, it's a Taurus reading. And the example that I use is like somebody knowing that something is wrong with their child or something like that or. Or whatever the case, they just know the truth of the matter. And they'll just send somebody out there just so it can make make it look like they're the ones making, like they're a screw up or something like that. Because I'm telling you, somebody here is just, mm -mm. like their wise counsel is somebody who has it out for them. Like for real. And it, it I don't even think it's. This is the type of energy where this person is consumed by devil energy so hard and heavy that the person isn't even themselves yet. They're consumed. They're full of demons. I don't know if it's because of what they've been doing or attempting or what. Okay. Like, I don't know if this is like what this is. I don't, I, I mean, somebody could be an incubus or a succubus, something could have something to do with sexual energy. Somebody keeps exchanging with this energy or that's what it is where they feel codependent on it. A lot like they need they need that they need that for real they they needed to feel better about themselves or if it's a if it's a if it's a mother if it's a mother or a uh or a father or a sister or a brother i don't know where they would come in this set i don't i i don't know if they are the ones that they wish you guys weren't related I'm telling you, it's just somebody overstepping. This is somebody that's trying to, like, they're either too much in their son's or daughter's business. They they can't they can't date properly and be with people properly because they want to be the person. It's real. We it's a weird energy, or they just always got something to say negative about somebody's relationships, manipulating it and changing the story around and stuff like that. Mm -mm. So some of y'all need to put y'all boundary up and take care of you and yours, you and yours. The Hierophant. Look at that. You got the Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's a backfire here. Ace of Cups, High Priestess, Judgment, Justice. Yeah, so this is just all a part of it. I'm telling you, whatever it is that's coming, whatever is happening here. If they get in cases, anybody who goes to see the law in regard or getting caught up with the law, a lot of people, that's what it's going to be. 
and it's because they crossed over into your jurisdiction. Something has something to do with jurisdiction here. Mm-hmm. It does. Boundaries. Somebody get too close to the light. And they and, and some of y'all being watched. And y'all may not even know y'all being watched, but y'all being watched. I don't know if it's because you maybe it's somebody that is very close in your energy and they're being watched or tapped. Or something like that. Somebody's being watched. Now this could be spiritual. It don't have to be physical for everybody. But somebody about to leave here. Because everybody. It seems like everybody who attacked you. Somebody in this group. Already had like something. Tapped. So I don't know where you come in this at. But that was where the backfire came in. When they crossed over into your boundary. Because. By the time they get done going through your stuff. Yeah, that's that's what this is. I mean, this is the type of energy where something is signed off on by a judge and investigated. But this is the sun with the five of swords right here. So there's definitely some kind of light being shed, shed on some kind of hate group. Yeah. Now, these could all be something to deal with siblings, in-laws, all of that. It, it looks like it could be a bit of a like a family thing not, and, and not fully fa family. Just say if if say if this mother runs the runs the ship, I mean, somebody is there's I'm getting a pastor, first lady, something like that right here with the higher front and the empress together with the magician. Somebody could use their spot, their position that they sit in just the fact that they're your, your mother. Don't talk to, to your mother. I don't. I said I don't like her. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You know, that type of energy because they're misusing and abusing the authority. You don't raise the child. I said raise them up. Teach them in the way they should go. I didn't say keep manipulating the situation and then using who you are to them to your advantage. I didn't say that. Yeah, so anyway, that person's leaving here. And it's been a long time coming. Oh, yeah. So it don't matter who it is. That was just an example. A mother that don't know her, her place. A pastor or whoever, teacher, that don't know how to stay in their lane. Keep their hands to themselves. Their eyes off of things that they're not be supposed to be looking up somebody knowing when to not stick beside them or stick beside her anymore this is people who don't even protect themselves they don't hold themselves in high regard enough so they allow other people to take them down with them mm -hmm. so unfortunately some people are falling because they are not standing they didn't stand for anything They it's easier for them to be in this group so it's a lot of overstepping of boundaries here is what I'm getting. This is people sitting in positions that they didn't rightfully earn. They were given to them. Here is this position just because you're my son. Although you're the most trifling person I'll ever meet in my life. But come sit in my church house with me. And help me. Any more? Any more of them? Yeah, you, 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 you too. Y'all come on over here. Let's build a business where morals and integrity and you know, just having character, good character, integrity. But come on over here and let's all play together. And for somebody here, it was just easier for them to play like that just because of who somebody is to them. Or they didn't want to be exposed for their devilish ways. Somebody stays right up underneath somebody just to, so they can try to protect them. But this somebody where the person at the top will no longer be at the top or they're no longer protected or they're no longer this. This is somebody who it. No. You could have saved yourself, but you did. not You tried to hide underneath this person who ain't going to have no more authority or they're no longer going to be here. They're leaving here. We'll see how in a minute, but I know this has been a long journey. Somebody has either sat in this place for a while 
it came out in the Divine Mask and Divine Feminine readings that are on Patreon. Definitely join us if you want more. But this is an energy right here. They're able to manipulate from this position of power right here. And it's the sworn in role. I solemnly swear. Whatever role that may be. It don't matter. Somebody uses I sw solemnly swear to uphold this, that, and the third or do this or do that. They use it to their advantage. Or somebody encourages and gives someone the confidence to lie, cheat, connive. Them. This is somebody who's corrupt, grooming up more corrupt. You see what I'm saying? Let me show you how. But that person is leaving here. Or they're no longer here. Yeah. I can't wait to see how this turns out because it just looks like so far. It just looks like light is being shed. I'm getting something like I'm getting something like being infested and then cutting the lights on and everything like scrambles. I feel like some, there could be something about that, too. Yeah, I feel like something is an infestation. Now, I'm telling you, something is like somebody is full of demons, though. Like they they a big old beast. But they, they full of different demons. It don't matter. The demons, the old, like, just bad. Or that's what it is now because of that backfire. Because of that backfire. Somebody is consumed with. They're consumed with. Unclean energy. Or something is just unclean. I don't know if somebody's like a hoarder or what. Yeah, I'm getting that. It's just, it's just somebody needs to cleanse. Somebody needs to cleanse for real. Or they, I mean, that could be just like, maybe not like, I mean, this could be internally, externally. I don't know, if, like something deals with an exterminator. Like somebody needs an exterminator somebody could have like a bug infested home or something <laughs> I don't know it's something like that self care clear your energy field before focusing on your and focus on yourself before acting something could have something to do with someone y'all sleeping with it's so unclean or somebody's just sleeping with an unclean person or whoever this person is who somebody has a child with. They just unclean. They just an unclean person. I'm telling you, somebody real nasty. It don't matter who it is. They just real a real nasty person. Look at this. The lovers. Mature man. Ugh, a creep. Somebody is a creep. They're a pedophile. They're they're a creep. Ugh. And it's like an older person. Like this, this like, these these are like, this like grandma, granddaddy age energy, lovers, or if something deals with something like that, false person. Yeah, it's it's you will never know what somebody into. Occupation. So. Again, this is one of those things where it's going to be the real nature of a person. It's like something is like going to be like so ironic. Whatever this is, that's coming to light. It's going to be so ironic. Like, wow, you do that for a living? <laughs> okay, that's kind of close, ain't it? Something has something to do with the... Uh, somebody who needs one of them little cards. Look at his bad health behind that. With courtship. This real. Somebody is. They sick. Somebody is sick. Somebody's lover is sick. That could be in the mind. That could be in the body. Okay. They're sick though. 
Maybe you already left this energy. For a lot of you, you're not with this energy. I'm excited to see the turn that this reading makes because on this side of the reading, it's just giving me there was some kind of hateful, malicious act or lying. Somebody could have lied under oath here as well. Or they just lied about something. There was some lies. There's something becoming something coming uncovered. Like really how whatever this is, something when the further back people go to look into whoever this person is, it's like more and more like, wow. So you just been a con your whole life or you just been a creep or a pervert your whole life. So you ain't just start being this way as an adult. You've been this way. You ain't just start being this way in your 30s. You've been this way. You've been this way since you were in your late teens. You, you, what you used to do when you was a teenager. Hmm. Very interesting. This giving me the Gemini reading that I did that's titled, um, Predators Are Not Born, They're Raised. Whoever this empress is that's touching this higher font. Uh-uh. No. This is somebody who breeds, they breed up. Somebody didn't teach their children in a way to go at, at, correctly or make them properly spank them as they should have been spanked. And I'll say, that was wrong. And don't you da 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 da. And we gotta go ahead and put this to rest and put it out there and admit your wrongs. This has been a, let's sweep it. Let's sweep it, uh-uh. Keep being fake now. You got a position to uphold. Now get over here and pass that basket around the church. Okay? So everybody can put some money in it. ooh -wee. Something has something to do with somebody lover though. Whatever this is, somebody, uh, I don't know. Somebody could be, um, this is the type of energy where Whoever this is, this with this, this would be, this is, I don't care if, if this is, who this is, a teacher, pastor, preacher. I don't care who this is, a judge. I don't care, but it's whatever they do, how, wherever they sit at, it's an I solemnly swear or it's, it's some kind of oath that you take to make you somebody's safe place when people come towards you. You're supposed to be a safe place. You're supposed to guide and lead them the right way. This is a manipulator. They're going to do something to have their way. What you got for me? You come in and say, help me. Can you help me? Can you help me? Somebody, these people are against me. Five of swords. They're against me. They're running. It's, it's, they chasing me. The, the devil, the hermit, the five of swords. You can see them. Obviously, with the sun card right here, you can see whatever it is. And so there's some kind of proof of it that you can see. But this is somebody that's like, all right, but what you got for me? I can help you. The person that may not have anything. Well, I don't have anything. I just have my words of what I'm telling you what happened. Can you like judge the situation accordingly? Or can you put a stop to this? This is giving me the warning. Somebody trying to give like somebody is coming. They come into a person, I need your help, I need your help. Or come help me, there's people behind me. But the person's so worried about what you got for me that they don't even see something coming. Like it could destroy them if they don't see to it. They have the power to be able to make it what it needs to be. I don't know, maybe you get it, maybe you don't. But yeah, it's it's something, it's a particular job that somebody does. Whoever this is. It's somebody who's well groomed. They're well into this role. They've been in this position on top for a minute. They're mature at this point. Woman or man. That's the empress that says mature man. But they lie. And they work with devil energy to have their way. Or to give the devil energy their way. Because as long as you can pay them, you're good. You get whatever you want. So I can't wait to see what's happening because it looks like the devil may be ghosting somebody too. Because it's too much light right here. And then this other person going away. 
So this could be somebody being exposed and then them just going away. How, whichever way. You know how people do. Oh, I can't deal with this. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to be seen as this. So let me just go ahead and go so people can stop talking about me. Because I don't want to live through it. It could be something like that. Hmm. Very interesting here. But I'm going to leave this where it is. We're going to go ahead to Patreon and finish this reading. Very interesting. So this is going to be a big week. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Some of this, For some of you, this could be your boss. If you work at jobs, this could, this could be your boss. If you if you go to church, this could be your pastor. Uh, if you, you know, if you're pregnant, this could be your doctor. It's something like that going on. Like, uh, I guess we'll just have to see. Um, it says confidence is your key to success. I do feel like somebody likes you. They do like you. I can see that out here, too. I feel like somebody could be uh, coming towards you. Somebody that you've manifested. They could be coming towards you. But I do feel like somebody could be... Uh, somebody out here could not be outwardly expressing how they truly feel about a person. And that's part of their boundaries. So this would be like if that person that I mentioned that's coming towards you. This is something where you and this person... <coughs> Maybe a little bit. You have your guard up. You know, I'm getting something about a poker face here. So if you know you have like a nosy such and such, you know, that from your past, they always nosy. They want to know your business. You talking to anybody new? And somebody like, nah, I ain't talking to nobody new. Or this is you in this next week. Something that has something to do with a false person at your job, though. False person, false people. Or something. Whatever it is, it's very close. That's why it's being picked up here. Very interesting. Both of these cards say new moon. So, you know, you take it how it resonates. The number 34, uh, 43, the number 7 could be significant. The number 5 could be significant. 15, 51, the number 6 could be significant. And the number 8 could be significant. Okay? So just what I'm getting in this next week. For those of you who aren't coming to Patreon with us, you need to watch your back at work. Okay, some of you, you already know how this works, but I feel like somebody here, somebody here like slept with somebody who got them on to a job or something. Or whoever this is that's snaking you with somebody who got you on to a job. They helped you get a job. Or some of you used to work with your lover or you do, or you work with an ex-lover closely it looks like this could be the past though for some of you but for, but just in this next week though just make sure you know somebody may be just trying to rain on your parade yeah they don't like you being happy they don't like you they just it is what it is but we'll see because it's kind of giving me what they put out they're getting back that's what it's giving me with a time to give rather than take Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, please have a great uh, week. Okay. I'll talk to y'all uh, the next time we post here. Okay. Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrate. Okay. Enjoy your holiday. Um, yeah. I wish you all the best. We'll talk to you next time if we don't see you. If you want to follow us to Patreon, the link is below. You will love it there. I can guarantee it, okay? We're going to see how this play out over the next week. Because this is just giving me all the people. This is giving me the people who may have lied on you in the past. Been malicious towards you in the past. Been envious and hateful towards you in the past. Manipulated you in the past. This is giving me all of the people. We got all the people here, okay? All the people are here. Whether it's co-workers, past lovers, yeah, pedophiles who want to come too close to you, uh, fake pastors and preachers, fake mamas and daddies, sisters and brothers, whatever the case, people who ghosted you, just demons just playing on your top. So everybody's out here. We're going to see how this play out. Okay. 
Um, but they're saying firm boundaries are needed now for some of y'all. So if you're trying to break it off with somebody, you can't halfway keep the door swinging. Somebody still want to deal with y'all. The lovers is right here and the lovers came out in this card. Some of y'all sleeping with the energy right now. They was wearing a mask. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I love y'all. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.